Okay, so having downloaded and installed the Countersheet extension, let's go and create a Countersheet. Um, first off, you'll notice in Extensions and Board Games, you've now got Create Countersheet available. So clicking on that, it's got a few options, but the most important thing is it won't work right now because we haven't loaded our template. In order to actually run a Countersheet, what we need to do is File, Open. I'm going to open my Recent or Open from, in this case, it's my Templates folder where I downloaded, and I'm going to go looking for the template called, unsurprisingly, counters.svg. So that loads up, and if we get it right, we've got our counter sheet here. And firstly, you'll see over on the right hand side is a blank page. That's where my counters are going to appear when they're processed. This whole lovely selection of NATO icons is sitting in the middle. Those are all a set of NATO icon symbols that are going to be overlaid on our counters. And then if I scroll over a little bit further to the left, these are our templates. This determines what we have as far as parent IDs, unit IDs, values, and these are the structures that are read from a comma separated variable, a CSV file that we'll explore in a moment, that actually gives us the ability to create our counters. So scrolling right again, I'm going to go back to my my empty page. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to say extensions, board games, create counter sheet. And in this case, I've already remembered um, the template file that I'm using. And in this case, I'm going to create a two sided NATO counters file. And it's reading the setup details, which we'll explore soon from a CSV file. But let's just apply that. When we press apply, the macro goes and runs. It reads the CSV file. It works out the parameters it's going to apply. And then it creates a counter sheet. So if I close off my window, I'll just push it to the side actually. Um, you'll see here, this is our very first counter sheet creation. Um, it looks nice, very pretty, a few variations in the color of the icons, but why is that a little bit odd over here with the uh, uh, with an overlay of a couple of counters overlapping? Well, that's the overlap of the front and the back. Next to each layer, and you can get to this by saying layer layers, control shift L. If I switch off the back layer, things will become a little clearer. So you'll see now this is my front layer. Um, and these are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten that I've set my parameters to. Um, and if I switch on the back and switch off the front, you'll see this is what it's created for the back. So this is both a front and a back. The reason the overlap looks a little bit odd is because clearly when you print um, around the back and the front, they need to be in different places to overlap. Um, but I don't know about you, but I'm quite pleased with that for my first counter sheet layer output.